Welcome to a video taking a look at the standard deviation and variance. In this video our aim is to calculate an estimate for standard deviation and variance from a grouped frequency table. So here we can see we've got our formula for variance and then stand, our formula for the standard deviation is simply going to be the square root of our variance. So the important thing here is that we recognize that we're looking at grouped frequency tables. This means that our data has been put into class intervals. So we can see our class intervals here, 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, and so on. Now, what we're going to have to do with this information is, because it has been grouped, we're going to have to find the midpoints of our data. And our midpoints are simply referred to as x in this formula. So when we're talking about frequency multiplied by x, we're talking about the frequency multiplied by the midpoint. Here we're talking about the frequency multiplied by the midpoint squared. So let's first of all work out our midpoints for each of our class intervals. So we've got 5 for this one. Next, 15. Next, we've got 25. The next thing that I'm going to do is, well, I need to also I don't need to just work out x, I also need to work out x squared as well. So let's work out x squared for each of our midpoints. So our midpoints are our x's. So our x squared will simply be 5 squared. So that's going to give me 25. 15 squared, 225. And then 25 squared, 625. Now the next thing that I'm going to have to do is, well, let's take a look at my frequency saying that I've got 4 of the midpoint 5. So I've got 4 numbers in this class interval. So the next thing I'm going to do is find the frequency multiplied by my midpoint. So this part here. So let's do that. 4 multiplied by 5, that gives me 20. 3 15s, 45. 7 25s. It's going to give me 175. Now, next part, I need to calculate um, the frequency. So I'm now calculating this part. Frequency multiplied by x squared. So fx squared. So I've got 4 times 25. That's going to give me 100. Then I've got 3 multiplied by um, 3 multiplied by 225 that's going to give me um, 675 and then lastly I've got 7 multiplied by 625 um, that's going to give me uh, 4375 so now I've calculated all of this information, all that's left for me to do really is to think about what else I need to do. Well, I need the sum of fx squared divided by the sum of f. So let's calculate these things a little further down. So I need the sum of fx squared. So let's use our calculator to do this. Um, the sum of fx squared so that's going to be 100 plus uh, 675 plus 4,375. So that gives me 5,150. So uh, let's write this out nice and clearly. So I can say that the sum of fx squared the sum of fx squared was, what was it, 5150. Then I need to also work out the sum of f. So the sum of f, we can see here, is just the sum of this column, which is going to give me uh, 14. 4 plus 3 plus 7. Then I need to work out the sum of fx. So the sum of fx. So 20 uh, plus 175, that's going to give me 195, plus 45, that's going to give me the sum of fx, the sum of fx as, uh, sorry, what did we say, um, 240. 
So the sum of fx is 240. Now let's just input all of this information into this formula here. So I'm going to take this part here, 5, 1, 5, 0. So the sum of fx squared. I'm going to divide that by the sum of the frequency, 14. Then I'm going to take away the sum of fx, 240, divided by the sum of the frequency, 14. And it, tell, it tells me that I need to square this. So squaring that. Now that's going to give me my variance. Then to calculate my standard deviation, I'm just going to square my answer for this. So let's calculate the variance first of all um, using a calculator. So I've got 5150 divided by 14. That gives me 367. Then I'm taking away from that uh, 240 divided by 14 squared. And so what does that leave me with? That leaves me with 73.979. So uh, we'll call that, what should we call that? Just because I'm running out of room, we'll call that uh, uh, 73.98. Now to calculate my standard deviation, I'm simply going to take the square root of this value. So the square root, and we wouldn't take the square root of 73.98, we would take the square root of the exact amount that is in our calculator. So the square root of, and I'm just going to put 73.98, and I'm going to add a few dots to represent that, the fact that I've included all of that information in my calculation. And so my standard deviation here is going to give me an answer of, uh, let's have a look, uh, so, and, uh, yeah, we don't have the answer button, not that I can see anyway, oh yeah we do, I've just seen it, so the square root of my answer here, and that's going to give me 8.601, we'll just call that 8.6. So my two answers here, finding the standard deviation uh, and variance from this information here. My variance was 73.98 and my standard deviation 8.6. Okay, hopefully you can follow what's gone on. If not, rewatch, maybe take some notes. Then what I suggest you do is you pause the video at this point and attempt the question that is on the screen now. So attempt the question that's on the screen, on some paper, work out what you think your answer is going to be, then press play again to see if you're right. So let's uh, take a look at what our answer should be here. So our values for x, our midpoints should be 12 and a half, 17 and a half, and 12.5. Then the rest of our information, as we can see, is unfolding here. Um, what we end up with is a variance of 12.25 and a standard deviation of 3.5. Hopefully if you got that right, um, if not go back and rewatch the video, check up to see where you went wrong.